Let's watch this video. This is a good video. Okay, listen guys, listen, listen. If you guys think that the world is fucked, you guys think that the world is going to shit, I want to prove to you guys that there is still human kindness out there. Your boy Monokage has, has seen it himself. And uh, with this video, your entire perspective is going to change. And quite frankly, you're going to want to hitchhike across the United States. So let's watch this video. You guys, trust me, guys, you guys are really going to like this one. Let's, let, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Over the past few years, it seems like everything you see in the media is honestly kind of shitty. America especially can seem like a big, scary, divided place where everyone is wildly against each other. Your life! So my friend Liam and I wanted to challenge that perspective and see if two Canadian guys could survive completely off the kindness of strangers. Wait, Japan, you're in this video? Is Japan still on stream? He said, he said Canadian? Oh my God, Japan's in the video? For 30 days, all the way across the United States. We're beginning the trip on the East Coast in Boston. And before getting on the road, our Airbnb host, Ken, shared some of his concerns. No matter how well your intention is, you still have to be realistic of there are going to be people that are going to want to take it. So if you guys kind of missed that intro there, basically this guy right here, he's like the he's like the main guy. And then his buddy Liam are trying to hitchhike across America with none of their money. They're not going to use any of their own money. They can only get money from like the people that they ask. They have to go up to people and just ask for money. Uh, and then they can't like use their they don't have their own car. They're basically just asking people for rides. And essentially uh, they want to they want to cross America in a span of 30 days. So they're starting in like basically New York and they want to end up like I think it's like in L.A. or something like that around there. So so they're going to start East Coast to West Coast. Can't use any of their own money. Can't use like Uber or anything like that. They literally have to ask people to, for everything to see how kind people are to them and to see how nice uh, or to see if people would actually do nice things for them. So that's basically what they're trying to do. It's pretty sick, actually. Advantage of you and your vulnerability. So there are bad people up there, right? Set the tone for the, <laughs> the next 30 days. There are going to be people that's... who want to kill you. <laughs> not, not kill you, but take like advantage of you. You think you have nothing, but there are people that have even much less than what you have on yeah. you right now. You know, if they think a camera, like that could be a meal for them for weeks. 100%. This is going to be yeah. a psychology quiz, right? On humanity. But most of the people, people are good, but it's just so much negativity. It's just buried. The good is buried. Yeah. So how do you make it rise? I think that's the question we're trying to find out, yeah. That's us out. Ken kindly offered to drive us to a nearby gas station, and with that, the trip was officially started. Hey Thank you very much. Good luck. <laughs> oh my. Damn, you guys are going to look homeless, bro. But the forces be you with shower? you. The good forces. Thanks All right, so see ya. See you guys. So now we got to establish the rules. Rule number one, we can't spend any of our own money. All the food that we get has to come from the kindness of strangers. So there's a Dunkin' Donuts right here, and we're going to go in and ask somebody if they can buy. Bro, do you guys have the balls to do this, by the way? Like, do any of you guys actually have the balls to basically say goodbye to everybody you know and just walk across the United States or just your, the country you live in? A lot of people, it's it's pretty hard to walk across the country you live in uh, because I'm, I'm assuming Australia, bro, you, you'd be fucking dead. You'd be dead. Okay. Nah. Yes. Yes. So you guys have the balls to go up to people and ask people. Yes, I admire life and nature. Bias. All right, well, we'll see what happens in this, in this series. We're hiking across America because we have to do food, transportation, shelter, all from the Yeah, see, a lot of people don't trust anybody. To be fair, if you're a girl, I would say this is impossible. Uh, if we're just talking about the United States, I'm sorry to say, but if you're a girl, like if you're like, so it's, so these are two guys. If it was two girls trying to cross the United States, I'm sorry. I just don't think you're going to make it across. It's just true. Some, there's some sick ass people out there. Uh, luckily, these guys uh, don't, as far as I know, you know, I, I just have a feeling dudes can probably do it easier than girls. I, I don't think that's very controversial to say. We're wondering if there's any chance you can just like, have like a muffin. Uh, how about a speedy side blow? Yeah, yeah, that's totally okay. great. Thank you. All right, we got our first one. This leads us to rule number two. All transportation must come from the kindness of strangers. Can I ask you a quick question? We're hitchhiking across America. I'm wondering potentially if you'd be willing to... Quick question. Okay, another question, another question. So say like these guys came up to you and asked you... I'm assuming I'm not allowed you guys drive, but for the people that do, for the... Uh, so say like two random guys come up to you and ask you, oh, we're hitchhiking across uh, blah, 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 or, one, or we're just hitchhiking. Can you give us a ride uh, to this destination? Would you actually do it? Two random dudes. One of them could, dude, they have backpacks on. One of them could have like guns or something like that. You know what I'm saying? 
Would you actually do it? No, you probably would not do it. Let's be honest. To give us a quick ride to South Station. Yeah, sure. Yeah? yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so get in the car. Go, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. And that leads us to the final rule. All shelter must come from the kindness of strangers. So every night yeah. of the trip. Okay, so, so also, okay, I didn't explain this, but when they go to sleep, uh, they have to either, they're either going to have no shelters, they're going to sleep on the streets for a night, or they have to ask somebody and literally sleep over their house, the random person's house. Isn't that, doesn't that sound sketchy, guys? Doesn't that not sound sketchy? But they do it, bro. They do it. We have to ask people to let us sleep in their homes that night. And if we don't find a place, we sleep in the streets, which isn't ideal as all we have is a bag of clothes and our camera bag for the entire trip. But before we find a place to stay, we need to first make the four hour drive to New York City by tonight. And the fastest way we can do that is by getting two bus tickets. My next one's two o'clock and it's $46. $46? Right. Okay, thank you so much. $96. Alright, it's gonna be tough. You just have to ask literally everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you guys a quick question? We're currently uh, hitchhiking across America. This is the first day. We have to do food, shelter, and transportation from the kindest of strangers. We're wondering if potentially you'd be willing to help us try to get a train ticket. I've done some more things, so. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much. Damn, bro. They just thank got $40. So I appreciate that. $60 wow. just like that, bro? Oh my god. 60 now. We're, we got one ticket. <laughs> Why? Why is it so quickly? Yeah, I don't have any cash on That's me. Okay. I don't know you, but... Yeah, no, no, it's all good. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I got change for you guys. Oh, Are you no serious? Wow, thank, thank, you, thank so you so much. much. I, I think we're literally it. like a couple dollars yeah, right now. Yeah, we're super close. 85, 90, 91, 92. We literally got, she got us to 92. We're going to New York. We're going to New York, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so cool. <laughs> With our tickets sorted out, we asked a stranger named Hans if he could help us out with some food. And he kindly bought us two slices of pizza. Dude! You got us two slices of pizza? This is like kind of turning out way too easy. I feel like there's gotta be some challenges to come. As well as things were going, we still had our toughest challenge The calm yet. before the storm as Finding they say, Finding a stranger boys. to let us stay in their home. In so they started in Boston. So they started in Boston. Now they're in NYC. They're in New York City, bro. This is insane. New York City. Trying to find a place to stay tonight in All New right. York with a stranger. This is New York City. You want to do just trust two guys off the street? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're bugging. <laughs> <laughs> New York. No one's gonna let you stay in their crib, bro. Yeah, no way. You're sleeping on the street tonight, bro. <laughs> I think we should. I'm gonna move to New York City. All right. Good luck with that. Hold it up. It's a stretch. Good luck trying to afford that shit. Yeah, it's so it's so expensive. Casually pick up some cardboard. <laughs> How's it look? Great. Good job, buddy. Yeah, in Brooklyn, that's cool. Do you have a place? Yeah, text my number. I'm in the client, but call me around uh, 10 30. No way! I told you! I told you this is work. That's crazy. <laughs> we got a place! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I were you, bro, you sleep? <laughs> sleep in shifts. <laughs> hey, that's true, though, bro. That's true, though. What if they're staying at the. At, like, like, I understand, like, these guys could be sketchy. What if the person that they stay at their house is even more sketchy? What, like, what if that person's trying to kill them? You know what I'm saying? So, like, dude, it's just so, like, the trust. You just have to trust in people. It, like, the, what, I, do you guys have that kind of trust? Do you guys have trust issues, or would you guys be able to do that? Like, that, like you got to have an, an enormous amount of trust in, like, humanity to not be murdered. You know what I'm saying? It's so serious, bro. No, like, yo, I'm being, I'm being, like, yo, I'm being, like, really yeah, yeah, yeah. serious right now. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping shits. Okay. Should we be worried? All these people have been like, watch your delivers, and... And the fact that our guy was like, no questions asked, oh, you need a place to stay? Wow, those are two fresh, clean livers <laughs> that I can take. I don't even have to convince them. They want to come to my house? He's nice. <laughs> no, he's nice. But well, is that his whole, is that his whole thing? Damn, bro. Liam. See, they're second guessing now. Brad. Brad, Brad. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys want to stay with me? Yeah, that'd be great. You guys don't have any food? No. I got you. We'll order some pizza. Really? Yeah. Does it cost to clean my house for like family? Yeah, of course. Clean his house. Why don't we lace him all the cups with something? Yeah. Maybe he wants to wear our skin. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, man. Whatever. You put a pizza in front of me, <laughs> walk up as much as you need. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, oh, he likes that. Oh, 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 there's no way he comes out with waters, bro. I would not drink that. I'd throw it over my shoulder. Ain't no way. Even if this guy is a nice guy, you just don't know, bro. What if you put something in that water? How do you know? How do you know? Thank you. I'm thirsty. Oh, bro drank both of them. 
Oh no. <laughs> He's not a serial killer, dude. No. He could be. If it smells like cinnamon, right. it's poison. Is that true? Thank you so much. Oh, no really problem. You guys enjoy. Watch okay. TV. The bathroom is right here. If you guys want to take a shot, just don't have any clean towels. Rock on. If you guys want a shot, I might have some beers in there. Are you going to have a beer with us? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, turned out Jay was actually a really dope guy. And it was awesome getting to know about him, his work. Now, this is something like cool, though. Like, this is something cool. Like, if you're in, if you live in New York City, you get to, like, chill on the rooftops. I do feel like that'd be really cool. Like, you get you and your homies, and you guys, like, drink up there or, like, do whatever. I feel like that'd be really cool. Live in the Big Apple. Day one turned out to be surprisingly smooth. If we could do all of this in New York, what else was going to happen for the next 29 days? Dude, we are going to be getting nice and cozy tonight. Yeah, but for real, like, this is a nice bed. The fact that we even have a bed at, at all is pretty crazy. Yay! They're sleeping together, gay! We got a beard, and we had a great shot, and we had a great view up there. Yeah. It's just awesome, man. Awesome, man. The next day, we said our goodbyes to our new friend Jay, and with that, it was time to leave New York and make our way to Philadelphia. The problem was, hitchhiking out of a big city is tough, especially in a city like New York. So we asked some of the locals where they thought a good spot would be, and then we stuck our thumbs out. I'd be fully clothed. Yeah, bro, like what if in the middle of the night he comes out with like a hatchet? He comes out with a hatchet, bro, and you're gonna be naked? No, you're gonna be prepared. You gotta have your clothes on, bro. But if you gotta run out of there, you're gonna run out in the middle of the street naked, and then, then you're gonna look like the crazy person. Not the guy with the hatchet. Eh, eh, somebody's gotta find this funny. Guys hitchhiking out of New York? Ah, we gotta give them a hand. How you doing? Trying to hitchhike. What the f <laughs> Last night, we stayed at a complete stranger's house in New York. What the f <laughs> You take us across the bridge. Oh, I can't, I'm sorry. Oh, damn it, Dan. Damn it. <laughs> Fair enough, All no good. problem. Thank We're trying to go across the bridge. Yeah? Oh, jump in? Okay. Oh, get in. Oh, really? Damn, bro, again. Would y'all would y'all do this? Would y'all just let two random dudes in your car? I don't know. By the way, Orlando. Orlando, nice to meet you. Orlando graciously dropped us off at a truck stop a bit past the bridge and even bought us some food for the road. And after that, we may have broken the record for the world's fastest hitchhike. Damn, seven seconds? Good for them. Can we get around? Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> have you ever picked up a hitchhiker? I don't have that much trust. No. Yeah, I no, don't know. Really? I don't know if I do either. Yeah. Where are you from? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. In our country, it's like it's a regular, you know. Every people want to help someone. We're not thinking like about maybe he can do something. Maybe he's gonna rob me, you know. Maybe he's gonna kill me. So we're not scared of anything except the God. We all. Damn, you're less powerful though. That's powerful. All on the same position, you know. Yeah. Bad thing. We live in the 21st century. We need to forget everything. We're all, we're all just the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you drop us off, we're gonna go run the stairs. You should come join us. You'll, uh -huh. Yeah? We'll do that. You'll do it? Okay, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'll do> it. <laughs> Let's do it. Copyright claim? <laughs> Alright, there goes the stream. The stream gets copyrighted after this. <laughs> thank you for the ride, man. Oh, okay. thank you so much. Don't need the uh, Philly sign anymore. Next up. Washington. We need to get a place to stay in Philly first. This is, uh, this is a lot. It's a bit overwhelming. There's no like this arrest. We pretty much just have to keep going consistently. Well, it's just hard because like I really don't see where we're going to be able to enjoy any city because every day is going to be like this where it's like we may have a little bit of time in the morning to see the city, but then it's like you got to search for the ride so that in the next city you're not in the streets for the night. Okay, well now you can just listen to any song on stream because you have already gotten copyright struck. That's not how that works, Flo. That's not how that works, respectfully. Because uh, if I play too many, my stream will not get copyright, copyrighted. I'll get copyright. I'll get a, I'll get a strike, and that's not what we want. We don't want that. And what? Are we, how are we supposed to do anything fun when we can't spend any money? Yeah. There's a wedding party right there. It's like, what if we just ask? What are the chances that you invite two random hitchhikers to your wedding? I could have just asked there, but it's like a fear. What if we just go to restaurants, just sit down and like join people? Yeah, would you guys even have the balls to like go up to random people and ask them? Because a lot of people have like social anxiety and don't even like, I've noticed that, okay, l let's have a little conversation. I've, I've definitely noticed, especially with like the younger people, because uh, I work in like customer service, I work in like restaurants, I've had a bunch of different jobs, right? And I've noticed that uh, a lot of younger people, especially, can't even hold eye contact in a conversation. Like they're always like looking down or doing, doing something else. Like people don't even have, uh, people have extreme social anxiety. Yeah. 
and uh people can't even hold eye contact they have like the most bare bones conversation they can't have like it's like it's like the, most most people are bots most people are bots they can't even have a conversation it's like listen listen if if if, if some dude if some dude comes into work and i'm clicking with, like and I, I can just tell he's, he's like matching my energy i'm like oh what's up bro how you doing today and like i'll help him out and like i'll be like oh yeah whatever and if some girl comes in comes in you know she she above she above a seven she above a seven i'm like oh you know uh uh n nice tattoos and she's like oh my god thanks and then your boy monica guy is dub riz so like and th and I've noticed that like a lot of like younger people like my age around my age can't really have like a simple conversation anymore. It's like they think it's awkward or something like that. I, I don't really know. I don't really know. Just me. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, I've noticed that people can't really even hold a freaking conversation anymore. Also, you can't even state your own opinions anymore. So that's true. I guess. I guess because if you state your opinion and it's like not a part of the mass consensus. Yeah, you're gonna get hate. You're gonna get a lot of hate. Well, it's like, hey, can we join you for a beer? But we don't have any beer. That this where it gets complicated again. Mm. God damn. I think, yeah, Discover Connection is all about human connection, but the point of it is that I don't really know what connection is. And I'm trying to figure out how to connect more in my life, and a lot of this stuff actually makes me really uncomfortable. It's not actually really easy. It is super difficult and uncomfortable a lot of the times. Over the next few hours, we wandered around the city, lost in our overthinking of everything. And before we knew it, it was 10 p.m. and realized if we didn't Damn. find a place to- They got here at Philadelphia at seven o'clock, or three o'clock? They wasted seven hours of not asking anybody? That's crazy. We'd be sleeping on the streets on day two. We kind of f***ed up for her. Would y'all be able to sleep on the streets? Like, if you guys were doing this, would you guys, would you guys rather sleep on the streets and risk, like, some random dude pulling up to you and, like, doing something to you? Or would you rather ask somebody and stay at their house uh, and risking that they do something for you? Mm, I think I'd ask people. I'd, uh, I, have, uh, I have confidence in humanity. You gotta, you gotta see the vibe too. You, like if you talk to somebody and you ask them, oh, like, can I stay at your house, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You, you can like almost, I mean, unless they're like Ted Bundy and they can like manipulate you and, 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 then, and then murder you, th that's a different story. But most people can't really do that. A lot of people don't have that kind of a, a social charisma to do something like that. The first part of the night. Yeah. Let's try to make the most out of it. 1016, a city we've never been to. We're both scared to go talk to people. And we know nobody. So we walked into a nearby restaurant and sparked up a conversation with a couple sitting at the bar. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, okay. Sorry, my mic. I know. Sorry, my mic wasn't working. My bad. My bad. We're hitchhiking across America, totally off the kindness of strangers, and we're trying to find a place to stay the night. I'll happily buy you both a beer. Yeah. yeah. If you guys want to figure out the living situation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Living here, absolutely not. I really hope you guys find I do too. Yeah, we're running out of time. Now, I don't know if it was the beers, or the shots, or the fact that we agreed to tag along with them to their favorite after hours club, but something changed. But I will allow you to stay. Damn. Not happy about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulled the heartstrings with the, we want to you see got... the good in humanity. I know. <laughs> was shelter secured? Now, it's okay. time to party. Mm, uh, 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 uh. Damn, bro slept four hours? They can't even sleep that long because they have to hitchhike, bro. They can't sleep in. So you're always on the move. You're always moving, bro. There's no, there ain't no rest for the wicked. That's so crazy, dude. Being drunk is crazy. After our morning coffee brought me back from the dead, Eric and Macy invited us to join them for disc golf, and Macy even gave us some gifts. Oh my god. This is the greatest gift anyone's ever given me. There's a couple more. All right, show us how it's done. This looks like fun, actually. That this is least. definitely this is definitely some white people shit, but I mean, hey, they're having a good time. That tree is stupid. I feel this, this one's going in. You're making some big claims, dude. Oh, let's go! Let's go, DC. 
We got dropped off and said our goodbyes to Macy and Eric, and that's when we met CJ. I know damn well y'all not really hitchhiking until 95. We started in Boston three days ago. Y'all got here? Yeah. yeah. Yo, rush that out. <laughs> this is some funny <laughs> This is the first time you ever picked up a hitchhiker, right? Yeah, ever. I'll see you in the show Bro, hey, you know bro's Canadian when he's saying, uh, this is the first time you ever hitch pick up a hitchhiker, eh? Bro's like completing every sentence with eh? The movies, right? And I'm like, yeah, why the f did you pick somebody up? <laughs> Girl, look at me. Nah, look look at me. Yo, guess what? You were here some funny s I, I met in Wawa, right? Why the f I'm bumping into two hitchhikers and I'm taking these motherfuckers in 95? <laughs> CJ dropped us off near the highway and we quickly picked up a ride who said he could get us a little bit closer to DC. But what you'll know if you've ever hitchhiked before is that not every ride is a helpful one. Alright, have a good one. You too. See, See ya. Guys. I have no idea where we are now. Me neither. Seems a bit off the beaten path. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why we- Yeah, they're on a side quest, bro. They, they, they just got dropped off in the middle of nowhere now they're on a side quest. Came here? But guess we'll make it work. Oh, nah, brother. Hitchhiking in the rain. You got no shelter. This is what you got to do, bro. This is insane. On way, boys. On way. It's getting down to crunch time. It's starting to get dark. We're running out of light. What point do we pack it in and try and find a place to stay here? I don't know where we would go. Knock on strangers' doors and ask, ask them to stay at their home. What does that mean? We're not getting any rides there. We're gonna have to stick with this small town. We're gonna ask as many. You just give up? No, nah, you can't can give up. Tonight. At this point, I'm getting desperate enough to just go and start asking workers at any store I see. Oh. Oh boy. I don't know if I can do that actually. <laughs> no? Oh. All good. Have a good night. Thanks. Okay. I genuinely don't know what to do. Damn, bro. They're literally getting rejected, bro. They can't even go ask people because these stores are kicking them out. They're gonna sleep on the streets. They're gonna be homeless for a night. Go to Target, I guess. Bro, they actually pressed the side quest button. Can I ask you a random question? Or get trusted across America right now, or can I be asking that other store? Sorry. Fentanyl, good. I got nothing in the end. At this Damn. point, we had nothing left. We were getting ready to find a place to sleep in the streets when all of a sudden, the guys from Target showed up and offered to take us to a nearby college town. It's on the rise. Ah, uh, here we go, boys. Another party. Is Ride really? seven, the boys. Thank you, boys. For real. Yeah. Thank you. Can I ask you guys a random question? We're currently hitchhiking across America. That yeah, Where'd yeah. you start? We started in Boston. Here in Westchester. Every night of the yeah. trip, we have to stay with a complete stranger, and we need to find. No, no, it's totally serious. They ain't seen yeah. the new Dahmer show on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, nah. This is when Jeffrey Dahmer came out, bro. Bro. Oh my God. This is. They couldn't have picked the, a worse time to do this because this is when Jeff, the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix show came out. Nah, bro. If I were everybody else, I would say no too. To be fair. To be fair. I would say no. I. Look, 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 look. I tell them, I'd, I'd, I'd be this, I'd do this. I'd be like, oh, uh, out of the kindness of strangers' heart, you know what I'd, you know what I'd say? No. N O no. No. E no. 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 A thousand times, no. No. It's my no button. I have a no button. Don't ask me why I have a no button, but I got one. <laughs> I already got my brother and his girlfriend sleeping on my couch tonight. We're all already staying in her house. Yeah. I don't have a place for you, but I can give you some money. Whoa, oh my Jesus. God. Oh, what? And at the very least, oh, dude, is that's for a pussy. pussy. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're going to live dude, with food. Thank you. Oh, she's drunk, bro. She cannot even form a sentence. That girl is so drunk. For real. Dude, this is just so nice. They're both crashing on my couch. It's all good. I it's will okay. sleep on the porch for you. No. I'll literally sleep in the tundra for you. I'll literally sleep in hell for you. <laughs> Oh, bro, all these people are so drunk. She's in love with them already, bro. Just, but you can tell by the way she's looking at them. <laughs> You're good looking. I was looking Yo! <laughs> okay, we got, we need some more people now. <laughs> oh, what else is new? <laughs> yo, it's lock me. Yeah, yeah. Got a question for you, yo. Yo. Got that girl couch. Not, what? What? That girl couch, bro. You have a couch? Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. That girl couch. <laughs> 
Where are we? Sometime in the so morning. What's going on right now? If y'all want to sleep on my floor on my crib, nothing but carpet and two pillows. But y'all can sleep there if you want. I mean, it's somewhere. That might be a play. Oh yeah. Um, you got two options. You can sleep out here. Or I share a bedroom and he's a queen bed and he's not here. You can sleep in there. Yeah, you gotta you share. Buy? That's fine. fine. We've been sharing. We've been sharing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Feel this bed. <laughs> oh my god. I was getting ready to sleep in front of that target. Thanks, brother. Oh, of course. Anytime. That's absurd. I think we are hitchhiking across the country. Me neither, to be honest. It's only setting in kind of now. Next week on Discover Connect. Damn, it's right over, bro. All right, let's hurricane watch. That is this is the preview, bro. This is the preview. Coming up our direction now. Hey, you can't find anyone here with her. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What? Can we crash at your house tonight? Yeah. No. If you go to the interstate again, you will get arrested. At this point, if it keeps going like this, I don't know if we can make it across America. All right, boys. All right, boys. All right, all right, all right. Chat, chat, chat. Do we watch the next episode or do we watch a different video? Chat, listen. Chat, listen. That was a dub video. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. I convinced a lot of you guys. You guys were like, oh, let's watch an anime video. Let's watch it. Listen, you've been convinced. 